Sky Rugby is in Western Australia for the opening tour match of the All Blacks Australian Tour. The venue, the Wacker Ground in Perth, and the first rugby game ever played on this normally Australian rules and cricket venue. The All Blacks have played and beaten Western Australia five times. Let's see how the 92 All Blacks get on as we join commentator Grant Nisbet. the All Blacks a penalty go a penalty and it'll be taken by uh, Stephen Bashup number eight uh, for Western Australia Tommy Tamanavalu two Fijians in this side in fact it's uh, a bit of a United Nations really six Kiwis in this Western Australian holding nicely now Preston big line out again Clark up for Cooper Tui Gamala second shot well some of these tackles are tough Mark Cooksley got hit in a beauty there, and here's a chance for Western Australia. Conrad Kovacs, number seven. Let's have a look and see who made the tackle. It was a thumping tackle on Cooksley. He went up, and he got barrels. It was from the kickoff. No, in fact, it was the number eight forward, Tama Anavalu, who made the tackle. It was a thumper. And offside against Jamie Joseph. second try the back uh, Rick Minty a huge man look at that lovely taking the line out chance in center field for Brad Keeney trying to crash it through in center field but they're winning good second phase ball here out comes Ryburn again cross for Tomasi he's got a lot of pace Tamana Valu almost got away there from John Timu now the ball is there there's no halfback at home though and the All Blacks are offside. Good little dab here by Tomasi, and almost getting away from Timu was the number eight forward, Tabanavalu. And uh, there the, was the ball was in there, and the All Blacks ruled offside. Down in Perth. First match of the All Black Tour, taken in by Aaron Penne. Another big tackle made on one of the All Blacks. Been some very solid tackling by the Western Australians. Now Preston, away for Bashup. Oh, nice work by Stephen Bashup. Put himself nicely into the gap. Now Smithwaite just inside the 22. Good work by Wellborn. Very promising player this. Just 21 years of age, John Wellborn. Played for Australian under 21 last season. Crashed up by Brad Keeney. There's been some big hits on both sides in this game, but the All Blacks get penalised this time. The 22, but they've lost it. Now here's a chance. Down the blind side. Tomasi tried to get it back inside to his fellow Fijian... Tamana Balu, well the All Blacks took it in but they lost it and that'll be a real concern this was an All Black ball remember, then Ryburn came the blind side, Tomasi with that bandaged leg of his, and I'm not sure that he's stretching out all that well, so the now the scrum now Preston whips it away again, Basham good support in field again from Jamie Joseph who's Really played very well so far. Now Preston goes one way, looking for his support. Has it in the form of Frank Bunce. Bunce across to Timu number three. Good work by Frank Bunce. Attack by Cooksley this time. Preston. Away for Richard Lowe. Runs into a solid tackle again from Tamana Valu, the number eight forward. Bashup on the blind side. And the big kick away downfield by Stephen Bashup. And really that'll come to nothing. And we're on to Tomasi. Clark makes a good tackle. Henderson once again is there. 15 metres out from the line. Ball was on the ground, but the referee very quick to blow it up. Away it goes for Penne. Well, it was rather kamikaze tackling from Western Australia. Here's Richard Lowe, the power of the man, standing on his feet, still ripping it clear, and driving over the line. What a good try. Scored by Richard Lowe. That's all about power. And staying on his feet. And the first four loose forward, Basham. 
Again to Frank Bunce, charging onto to Sean Fitzpatrick. Sets it up nicely, now Preston looks for the runners, and here's Basham. Up for Henderson, feeds it away for Preston again, a Ronnie Clark under the bar. Drop kick it and well board, look at that, he's the only bloke there. And well done, he saved a couple of points, so 41 to nil. Back we go, Robin Brook on the charge. Right from the kickoff, the All Blacks have hit back. They might have been denied that conversion, but they've got another four point five pointer. And that is the half-time score. New Zealand 48, Western Australia nil. To hold them all off, manages to free it up for Bunce. Up to Tui Gamara. Not much room to move here. They really have whistled on to him quickly. Well, there's a few problems here. Richard Lowe is in real pain. He got shoved from behind. And he's writhing on the ground. Let's have a look at this. Tuigamala stumbled as he went uh, to ground. And in they came. And uh, Richard Lowe got whacked from behind by Tamanavalu. Totally off the ball and unnecessarily and that really did hurt there between the All Black Fords. Long break here while Richard Lowe is attended to. It's not often that this strong man is down for this long. He appears to be in real trouble. Very slow to get to his feet. Gary Side, the All Black uh, physio, is there with him. Lowe is really struggling here. Just have a look here as the ball comes loose. Pene there holding holding them off. And then it came on the blind side to Tui Gamala. Uh, just keep an eye on Richard Lowe as he's uh, standing there rather innocently. And oh, woof, he really gets whacked. And I suspect he might have uh, problems with his ribs. Very gingerly back into the field of play. All Blacks have the penalty, and it's kicked out by Preston. Well, Richard Lowe these days, a bit of a veteran in his 55th game. He's been attended to for sore ribs, but he appears to have come right. Jamie Joseph takes it in for the All Blacks. Smooth, trying to get away from Tomasi. Holding it up nicely, John Timu. Excellent defence again from Western Australia. The All Blacks have managed to hang on to the ball. Now Tui Gamala gets into the clear. Back for Clark. Looks for support. Has it from Fitzpatrick and Lowe gets the try. Well, the injury's cleared up. Richard Lowe has his second try. And over 13 minutes into the second half. Claimed by Jamie Joseph for the All Blacks. He's had a very good game. Bashup on the blind side. Punches it ahead to Manavalu. All Blacks would like to get a hold of him, I bet. Tui Gamala has. He could get out of hand here. Tamanavalu was the bloke who put low down off the ball. I think the All Blacks have decided they want to just uh, maybe even things up a little. And the touch judge has got a few words to say here. It'll be against the All Blacks, I suspect. Let's have a look. No, it's not. Samanavalu has been penalised again. Samanavalu's 
can run it. Once again, the defence holding nicely, but the All Blacks' retention of the ball is good here. This time they pump it up the middle. Tackles coming from offside positions. And uh, Preston, low one across for Erroni Clark. Good tackling again. Bunce tries to pick it up and barreled his way through, and he gets there, Frank Bunce. Tried to lay it back, but I think it was might have been scooped up by one of the Western Australian players. Yes, it was. McRoberts. Long one across for Tomasi. Tamara Valu gets into the gap and gets stopped by Frank Bunce in a decent tackle. Western Australia. Good continuity now, McRoberts. Conrads. Now Stephen Bunce. David Hone runs straight into Tui Gamala and is taken solidly. And now Tui Gamala has the ball back. Well, this has certainly been a good open game. Back in 1984. Ball loose near the line. There's a dive and a try. Free kick to the All Blacks. Preston quickly to the mark. Now Basham. Cross for Bunce. Tui Gamala into the gap. Yes, he got out of it. Looking for Cooper inside. He got taken in a good tackle, though, by Tamana Valu. That really was a very good tackle. Well, he's a spirited player, this Tamana Valo. He's had his moments with the All Blacks, but look at the tackle here. No question about it. And he really has put himself around the ground, played with a lot of determination. Tommy Tamana Valo. Not quite good enough in past years to be play for the full Fijian team, but he certainly played for Fiji B a few years back. Looking towards the back. Again, well born, but again, it's not... And again, it's a nice kick by Stephen Bashop. The breeze might have dropped a little. Quickly thrown. Smith. Away for Tomasi. Got a ton of pace, this bloke. Good pass to home. Couldn't get it away to Steve Bunce. They've looked pretty useful when they've had the ball. They haven't had much of it. The backs. Steve Bashop tries to feed it up. And Robin Brook jumping at two in the line out for the All Blacks. Box to th one world of sport at the Wacker. Opening match of the All Blacks tour. 68 to nil they lead. Here come the backs again. Frank Bunce. Powerful runner, Frank Bunce. Sets it nicely. Preston, they keep it going. No, they change direction. Bashop. Chance here. Stephen Bashop. And can he get it down yet? Well, I guess Western Australia will want to keep this one going. Yes, they do. Kovacs runs it out. Very quick to get there to the forwards. Tamana Valu. Away for Smith. Desperate to get this try. That was their big aim in this match. Here's Ryburn. Lost it forward, though. And the All Blacks are going to get out of it. Referee playing it. Ryburn, then, with the feed. Right in centre field. 10-metre line. Tamanavalu comes off the back. Running a cross field here. Did well, though. Got it across for Hone. Now the kick and chase. Which way will this one bounce? Hone getting there. No, he didn't get his hand on it. Well, that could have been history. But not quite. That was a near thing for the All Blacks. Running hard across field to Manavale, but he set it up well for Hone. And he ran out of options ready. He made the kick, and then it was a question of the bounce. And it was all over the place. Hone could have had it. And in the end, it was a Ronnie Clark who forced it for the All Blacks. So here we go again. Taken by Wellborn. Bumps it straight up. Not too many of the Western Australian forwards there now. Everyone getting a bit tired. And the All Blacks take it away through Robin Brook. Big sprint from Robin Brook. Support from Penne. And Timu. Could this be number four for John Timu? Yes, it could be. Yes. Four tries for John Timu. Six of them converted. A penalty goal. And they're beaten Western Australia here at the Wacker this afternoon by 80 points to nil. Congratulations.